All right, uh, hi there YouTube friends and subscribers. Today what I'm doing is I'm going to do a test of the hot rod water heater. Last night it got down in the uh, I-50 switch was excellent. Next week it'll be in the 90s. So let's see. All right, we're showing on like 70 degrees water. All right, I'm gonna move slow. Try not to get you too dizzy. I'm going to turn on my inverter. Okay, everybody's happy. This is my charge controller telling me I'm 100%. Okay. Now. I've got the uh, water heater hooked up to this little extension cord. And next, I'm going to switch this over to. Uh, first, I'm going to reset it. Okay. Switch this over to watts. All right, here we go. I'm going to plug in the hot rod electric water heater conversion for the five gallon suburban. RV tank and I believe it takes about 10-12 minutes on propane I'm gonna check this in about 15 I'm sure it's gonna take at least a half hour it's only 400 watts so here we go with the load 337 alright it's showing 337 watts and it is turned on and full of water And there's the battery, 13.6, is 20 amps coming in. And there's my meter saying it's using about 20% of power. I found this meter is extremely inaccurate. And the lights on the inverter, while well, they're handy to look at, they're way out of whack as well. I ran the air conditioner the other day for about three minutes and I watched these lights here go all the way up, and the voltage come all the way down. And then the inverter shut off and come to find out it was not a problem with voltage or the inverter my 200 amp uh, breaker kicked out and I reset it and it was fine so here we are 13.5 23 amps coming in I'm gonna set my timer Okay, 76 degrees, it's 11.02. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna come back in about 15 minutes and check on it. It's so-so, uh, half cloudy, half sunny day today. And this will do this, no problem at all. I just wanna see how long it takes. And if this house sells, this could be my new home in the interim. All right, I'll be back in a moment. All right, we're at about the 17-minute uh, mark. There's the batteries coming in, 52.3 volts, 7.5 amps. Batteries at 12.7, 32 amps to the battery. And there's the orange light, the warning light on the inverter, saying I have low voltage, which it's false. Uh, let's see, 17 minutes and 42 seconds. Let's see what we got going on here. We're still drawing 339, 340. So obviously when that kicks off, we'll have hot water. I expected this was going to take at least a half hour or better. So that's uh, 340 watts at 110 volts. All right. Be back in a while. See how long this takes. Okay, I'm back, and believe it or not, it took one hour and 54 minutes, almost one hour and 55 minutes, to get the water up to about 120 degrees. Let's see. Yeah, the inverter is resting. 13.4, 29 amps coming in. This meter should be 
at zero now. And yes, it's at zero. Yeah, I'm catching that. Let's see what we used here. This one in. Okay, it's 0.6 cents. 10 cents a kilowatt hour. I use 0.65 kilowatts to heat that water. Hour and 57 minutes this has been going. What did the timer tell me? The timer tells me to turn it back on. So roughly an hour and an hour and 55 minutes. It's been running off the uh, the battery bank and the inverter. And there's the uh, there's the batteries coming back up. 13.6, 28.9 amps. Mm, let's see what we've got for water temperature. We got hot water. Good and four. Now we have six, nine, and then seven. Yeah, somewhere around there. Oh. Dragging the camera all over, I apologize for that. I didn't realize that was happening. So there we have it, 13.6, 29 amps. Forgot what I was gonna do. Let's see how warm the inverter got. <clears throat> Charge controller running around at 109, 112, 10, 109, 108. This thing don't even get warm. That's it, 112. It's been dumping 30 amps out for over an hour. So that concludes the test of the hot rod propane to electric conversion that I put in camber. Yeah, that's plenty hot. Get warmer. I think that's set at about 110, 118, something like that. It's kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to see. I was just in here trying to look at it. And which luckily I did come in here and look at it because I noticed when it was under pressure and hot water was on I found a water leak and it was just a it was that old guy right there it was loose I can tighten him up and fix that because it's been bone dry in here I've been checking it so I think I got that set at around 115 between 90 and 120 so it's, I don't have it set real high and that's the back of the tank you're looking at. That's the uh, thermostat for the electric water heater. So, in conclusion, the solar powered camper had no problem heating the hot water through the electric tank part of the uh, water heater. So, no propane used. So, for me, it's a six gallon tank. That's an easy shower at the end of the day, and I'm good with that. So once again, that's in conclusion of the hot rod electric water heater conversion kit that I installed in my, uh, I think it's a six gallon suburban water, hot, hot water tank, propane, or now it'll go with electricity, either one. So during the day, your solar's coming in. Uh, this particular rig has got 500 watts of solar on the roof. It has a 390 amp hour battery bank. That's a uh, EP Solar charge controller, 40 amp charge controller max at 12 volts or 24 volts. 
and I'm running a 115 watt go power pure sign high surge inverter and then down here underneath my little secret compartment are my two six volt chrome batteries with the water miser caps so there's not a whole lot this uh, solar setup on this camper won't do which is good hopefully next week I'm gonna be taking off for a couple days and if this house sells this could be my home for a while and so far I'm very happy with it because everything's worked out to plan all right so that's the end of the uh, water heater test it took about almost two hours to heat that tank and uh, it was pulling about 340 watts constant until it shut off. Alright, so that's the update on the water heater. Thanks for watching.